If you're afraid to make mistakes, go buy a subwoofer, don't build it. Let's learn from the mistake. I was cutting out these triangles to use later in the build. You'll see what they're for if you keep watching. I was using double-sided tape to hold my workpiece down. This works great for large parts. If you're cutting out a bunch of small parts, you might miss. That part's not gonna be taped down. It could go flying. In this case, the CNC machine crashed and I almost did some serious damage. When I bought the CNC machine, I was really hoping it would free me from the router table. But what I've learned is that tabs are the best way to hold the workpiece and the best way to trim off those tabs is with a flush trim bit over on the router. The good news is I'm not wasting time cutting individual pieces on the router. The bad news is I'm wasting time cleaning them up on the router. But it was worth it because the fit is perfect. At this stage, you want to do a dry fit to make sure all of your parts are correct. Check out these curves. You can see in this shot that the curves have two quarter inch holes plus wings on the inside. You'll see that those are four in a bit, so keep watching. Make sure you inspect the corners. Sometimes the CNC is going to leave behind some material. The best way to remove it is with a chisel. In this shot here, you can see the triangles I cut earlier. These are the braces. I just got them stuck in place for now, but this is what they're going to look like after they're installed. Everything fits together as intended. That means you can grab some glue and start the assembly process. 